Hello, it's August, which means one thing, it's time to get our Christmas potatoes planted. So I'm going to be honest here, the jury is still out for me at whether or not growing Christmas potatoes is a little bit of a con. But a couple of weeks ago, when I planted some supermarket potatoes, I had a quick look on the internet to see what the kind of traditional time for planting your Christmas potatoes was. And everything was coming back saying August. Now, the word tradition to me kind of makes me think of something that people have been doing for you know 50 years or 100 years but I think growing Christmas potatoes is a little bit of a new thing um, in terms of maybe the last 10 years because I don't really remember people talking about growing Christmas potatoes I don't really remember reading about growing Christmas potatoes or seeing them in the garden centres kind of more than 10 years ago but August seems to be the best time and the time that everybody starts growing their Christmas potatoes I saw um a couple of days ago that um, Paul from Richard and Paul was getting some really lovely sprouty rocket potatoes in the ground ready for Christmas as well. So it seems like, you know, August is the best time to start getting these planted ready for Christmas. So I didn't have any sprouty potatoes. So a couple of weeks ago, I popped to our local garden centre and had a look at what Christmas potatoes they had. And the only variety they had were these ones called Aaron Pilot. Um, Aaron Pilot are a first early potato. So, you know, they need the least amount of time to get going and form some lovely tubers. So on here, this is telling me that they should be planted between July and September and you harvest November onwards. So with these um, potatoes, I'm planning on just putting them in the ground today and then I will just let them grow as much as they can all the way up until Christmas, where hopefully maybe Christmas Eve, I will be doing a potato reveal. And fingers crossed, we will have enough for about four or five of us to eat our Christmas dinner. There is one thing though that I really think I have missed a trick on this year and that is growing potatoes after you've harvested them. I um, harvested my first early rocket potatoes on the 15th of June and we are now on the 2nd of August. In that raised bed I actually did put some, um, a couple of courgette plants and some chickpeas but because it's you know quite a dark area up in my woodland garden there's a lot of shade they just didn't do very well at all and um, the chickpeas they're very robust they're growing quite nicely just on the edge of the raised bed but the courgettes didn't thrive at all and I think they just got eaten by some slugs and snails just because it's such a damp environment up there so what I should have done six weeks ago was actually plant some more potatoes there because you know, if I put some first early potatoes in there back six weeks ago, we'd have been looking at harvesting them in another six weeks time, which actually is still really warm. We're coming to the end of summer, beginning of autumn, and that would have been a perfect time to be harvesting more potatoes. But what I am going to do today is I have some orchestra main crop potatoes here. Um, they are supermarket ones again, and I can tell they've not been um, sprayed with anything to prohibit them actually growing sprouts or sorry, sprouting because there are a couple, I don't know if you can see there, there are a couple of little shoots starting to grow on them. So what I'm going to do is actually put these in the ground up in my woodland garden now who knows it might be you know completely unsuccessful but it i might get a nice little harvest again around christmas time so we'll see how they do what i'm going to do first is put these up here in my woodland garden and then down on my patio is where these potatoes which are my Christmas ones, are going to be grown. Now, it did have nine in the pot, or sorry, there was nine in the bag, but some of them are absolutely tiny. And, you know, if you're used to saving your own seed potatoes, you wouldn't be saving one that small. But I'm going to put all of these in one big pot that I've got and just hope for the best. I have nine of these orchestra potatoes that I'm going to be planting today, which is exactly the same amount of um, Aaron Pilot potatoes that I've got that I'm going to be planting in the container down on my patio. 
So those ones have already chitted, you know, they're a little bit further along. So it'd be really interesting to see which ones do better. One's in the ground or one's in the pot. I think I'm going to put my money though on those Aaron pilots at producing better potatoes. On my patio, it's more sheltered and it's much warmer and sunnier. So my plan for these ones is I'm just going to put all nine of them down here now and I will probably put them around the depth of my trowel here just so I don't really have to worry too much about earthing them up. With the main crop potatoes you know they do take much longer to grow in the ground but I'm not going to be growing them for that length of time really so I'm not really too worried about earthing them up lots and lots. They're not going to produce big potatoes so that will be absolutely fine. <laughs> potatoes now planted I'm not going to be watering them I'm going to let them just do what they want to do I'm not going to hold out too much hope so hopefully I will be pleasantly surprised when it comes to harvest time now it's time to get the um, Aaron pilot in the pot down on my patio but I am hopeful for these ones but as I said at the beginning, this is the first time I've actually really attempted to try and grow a second crop of potatoes and grow Christmas potatoes. So let me know what you think. The pot these are going to be going in is too big. It's not going to be able to be moved into a polytunnel or one of my little greenhouses on the patio or the greenhouse up here that I've not, I've not actually built yet. Um, so they're just going to have to grow really quickly. The pot that I'm using today is I think around about a 50 litre pot or something like that. I tried growing a courgette in this a couple of years ago. It didn't do very well and then it's sat in the shade ever since. So it has been vacant for a couple of years and I think this would be a perfect size planter for putting these potatoes in. It's got a bit of a funny lip on it though so it might be a little bit annoying when it comes to actually harvesting them. But I'm going to put all nine of the potatoes in here. quite a lot to put in all together but I think every time I harvest potatoes I always think I should have put more in or slightly closer together so we'll see how it goes and the last two they are really tiny so you know I don't know how much they're going to produce Okay, I'm pretty happy with the um, way I've got them laid out there. So I'm just going to cover them now with some compost. I have another 10 litre bucket of compost, but I think I'm going to just leave these to come through and then I can gently earth around them just so they get a really good head start. Their leaves can come out of the ground and start getting energy and then, yeah, I will just make sure I don't cover the leaves again. So there you go, that is my Christmas potatoes planted. The ones in the container on the patio here, I've just moved them into the sun and I will get them watered later on when I get the hose out to water the um, beans and things that I've got growing in containers on the patio. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed watching today's video and if you are growing Christmas potatoes yourself, I'd really be interested to hear what varieties you're growing and I'd also be really interested to hear what your experience of growing Christmas potatoes potatoes is um, because you know I'm quite new to this so I would be interested to hear from you. A few of you have also asked this week how my patio garden makeover is going. To be honest I've not actually done anything really since I last did that video for you but this week I need to go and collect the power washer from my father-in-law so I can actually get everything washed down before I before I get painting but hopefully on Thursday or next Monday's video, you will have an update and I'd have really pushed forward with this project. Um, one thing I find with actually filming these videos means I have to actually get on with these jobs, which is great. So thank you for watching. 
anyway i'm gonna head off now um if this is the first time you're watching my videos please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all of my latest videos youtube have some videos up on the screen now that they think you'll like so please go ahead and watch those and i will catch up with you in the next episode bye